Press this button once to start menu selections. Where? What button? Oh, it's not even plugged in. Well. She be mine, mine on earth. Fifty dollars. She be mine, mine on earth. Fifty dollars. She be mine, mine on earth. Fifty dollars. She be mine, mine on earth. Hey guys, it's Dongwee and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, as you can see, I'm on the couch. Today we're actually going to be in my apartment. The whole video is going to be an at-home vlog. You guys are probably watching this after I've already posted my Columbus vlog. So in that vlog, I was telling you guys that I didn't get to finish everything I wanted to do. I didn't get to finish pantry organization and showing you guys my vanity. And I really wanted to do that, so I saved it so I could include it in this vlog. Before we get into this lovely vlog, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the sponsor for today's video i normally would like save it till the middle of the video but i'm already wearing the sponsorship so today's video is sponsored by glassesusa.com by cutting out the middleman glassesusa.com offers prescription glasses at 70 percent off retail prices and i can shop for prescription eyewear at affordable prices without leaving your home glassesusa.com has a lot of different options over 4,000 styles of eyeglasses and sunglasses you can actually add any type of prescription to almost all of their eyeglasses sunglasses and their blue light blocking glasses all the glasses that I am showing you guys today are prescription and blue light blocking so the glasses that I have on my face right now are the Muse Kylie in clear they are a little bit of a thicker frame they are comfortable the only thing is that these kind of slide down my nose a little bit just because my ears are really tiny this is the next pair this is the Weston but the color is tortoise these do kind of look black which is why I like them but when you come a little bit closer you can kind of see like the hint of the tortoise in it i wanted to try something a little bit different but nothing like too crazy so this was the perfect option for me i went for something very very different here these kind of make me look like a grandma but i love the frame so i don't know i feel like these are more of like a stylish pair so maybe when i do my hair a certain kind of way that like, these look good so of course you know your girl had to pick up a regular black pair of glasses because black goes with everything like what oh these are really cute this is my first time putting these ones on i got these because um i wanted to try different shapes so this is like the more cat eye shape and they're bigger so they kind of remind me of my last frame but they're definitely more cat eye i actually did use their virtual like try on tool the most helpful thing about it to me was seeing the way that this shape would look on my face if you guys are interested it's super easy to get your glasses standard shipping is free for every order and if you guys aren't happy with your glasses you have 14 days to return them i'll have my discount code down below in the description and the link to all the glasses that i got today i'm just gonna wear my clear ones these are my go-to and let's just get right into this video because it's not a lot of work that we got to do today but i don't really feel like doing it all right so basically behind me i store all my food in the cabinets that doesn't need to go in the fridge so everything is in these cabinets right here because i'm 5'1 and michael's not here to help me i had to bring out my step stool so we're also cooking today so i'm gonna go ahead and wash the wings so that when we're done with the pantry we can just get right onto the wings all right, right so my chicken is over here defrosting in this like Bowl. Let me just show you guys the tools that I'm going to be using to organize my pantry If you did watch my vlog that I did at home when Michael was here, you've probably seen these I got these from Ikea. I got this from Ikea as well I think I was planning on using this for my oats just because it pours so from home goods It was a pack of four for like $16. I got this like almost two months ago guys I, So I got these from Amazon. Um, it also comes with the name tags that you can write on so like i'm gonna write like what all the stuff is and oh there's little baby ones look so it's actually a pack of seven containers decided to get the storage clip bag thing this is gonna help stuff stay organized and then it'll go in here once it's clipped up i'm gonna go ahead and just take everything out of the pantry i think that's mm -hmm. the best option
emptied all the cabinets. The only cabinet I didn't empty was my plates cabinet. I don't have very many plates and dishes because I'm one person and there's some in the dishwasher. So I'm just going to save that for last because all I got to do is rearrange stuff. What I'm going to do is Lysol wipe. I'm going to clean wipe. I'm going to <laughs> with the Lysol wipe. I'm going to wipe. The bottom of the counters because like they do have a little bit of stuff in them from like, food being in them especially the spice cabinet pro tip when you are cleaning things and you are like maybe say like using the same cloth or wipe do the least dirty place first so like the part that looks the most clean wipe that first so i ended up doing the spice cabinet last because that had like a lot of grime otherwise my whole wipe would have been dirty already with the first thing so if that makes sense you save the dirtiest spot for last i think i might put the spices away first because that's the easiest and then that can get like a lot of this out of the way so i can have like more moving room so i'm gonna go ahead and put the spices away first so i'm actually gonna be like wiping the bottom of the spices down just because like when you do cook sometimes you have oil on your hands and it can be like oily so i'm just gonna wipe them down before i put them away but yeah so big spices in the back and then little ones towards the front So it does look a little bit cleaner. So up in the top right hand corner, I bought like popcorn seasoning. So I put popcorn seasoning there. And then these are like sauces. They don't really season food, but they add a little oomph. So that's why it's over here. So like over here, I just have like my jerk marinade, like caramel, honey, my syrup. And in the back, I think that's where I'm going to put my canned goods. And if I buy a lot of canned goods, they can just go up on the top shelf. Now that I'm done with this, I have four things to put in the fridge. There was also medicine up here. I don't have like a medicine cabinet, but I should make one. So we're gonna see what space in my kitchen is unused. Um, for my spices, I put the big ones in the back and I don't really care what my spices look like because um, I don't have like racks to organize them. So I just organize them by brand. Oh, oopsie. Oh, that looks so cute. Wow. I'm a Pinteristier. I'm a, who does this? I'm a, I'm a cleaner. I'm an organizer. Give me my accolades. Give me my props right now. Yeah, this looks good. And then the thing about putting them in like stuff like this is that now I don't have to use a whole pack of spaghetti and just have the box be in there halfway. Now I can choose how much spaghetti I want to make and then just like cap it off with this. All right, y'all. So this is actually a pretty big container to put sugar in. Okay, this is pointless if I'm pouring all. I should just open this. Ready head flour. I do like drinking oats for my shakes in the morning just because they do help with weight gain and adding calories. So I think this, since I need to pour it into a cup, would be perfect. If I have leftover stuff, I do have an island right here below me. I think I should put the leftover stuff in my gray island. Really, this is so perfect for my oats. Now I can just pour it in the measuring cup. I don't know if you guys don't know what Gary is, but if you're African, you probably know what Gary is. This is actually Ghana Gary. Um, so that will probably go best, I think, in this. Yeah, so that fit perfectly. Well, I wanted to do rice, but this is huge compared to what we have left. I feel like... For rice, I might need to buy another one of these, so I might save rice for now.
the pantry and my cabinets are now organized. It already looks a lot more cleaner and spacious behind me. And I found out that I have even like more space to put stuff if I need to. So I'm just gonna take you guys through what I did for each cabinet and what I placed where. Before we start off with the first cabinet, down here I just have a banana holder that I bought from, I think it was TJ Maxx or Home Goods. So I put bananas and then my avocados. And then this is the sugar and the flour containers. Let me know what you guys think of them right there. I don't know where else they would go. So in this first cabinet right here will be my snacks. I don't have very many, but when I do get some, I'll put them in here. And then I just have my spreads, so hazelnut spreads and then peanut butter. And then this is where my bread will go. And then here is more snacks, chips, pretzels, the Cheez-Its are there, and then in this bag is like open chips, and then like, I just put my cranberries in here because I don't know where else to put them. At the top we have pasta, the Gary is in the back, and then we have more pasta in these boxes, and then we have mashed potatoes, and then crackers. So moving on, we have my spice cabinet. So below that I just have oil and this bamboo plant that I got from Kroger. It's, it's still surviving after like, a month and I haven't even watered it so that's really good first cabinet I already told you guys about this cabinet so I'm not gonna go much into it but this is just what it looks like as a whole I found some pasta sauce and Tostitos in that other cabinet so I thought it made more sense to put it up here here we have the dish cabinet like I said a few of my stuff is in the dishwasher so normally there will be plates and bowls here. This, I just cleaned this up a little bit. It was really easy to clean that up. And then below my last cabinet, I just put the paper towel holder over here. I don't know what else would go over here. Maybe like a flower or a candle. So on the first cabinet, because I'm short, I put what I use most, which is protein. So I have three different kind of proteins here. And then I have my oats, which I'm always putting in my shakes. So I just left that right there. Over here, I store my, I'm gonna put my water bottles. I have another one back in my room and then I have these for my Nutribullet. There's some in the dishwasher and then my protein shakers. Over here, I figured I would just put the medicine in a pediment that I don't really use anymore and like vitamin C is kind of like medicine. And then I have some green tea on top of that. Like this stuff, so I don't really eat cereal, but that's there. I have pancake mix, regular oatmeal packets. And then I just have my disposable um, dishware in, in the corner, like cups and plastic spoons and forks. an air fryer I've always wanted an air fryer people always say it's so easy and I'm hoping that this will help me eat but guys this thing is huge I think I got like a six quart air fryer um, people were telling me get a decent size Ow! <gasps> the box just cut me this thing is huge Gosh. bro where is this gonna go Wow, it's shiny. This is the Ultrian Air Fryer, and it's supposed to be touchscreen. What does it say? Press this button once to start menu selection. Where, what button? Oh, it's not even plugged in. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> when you see a thick plug like this, you know it's heavy duty. Plug it in at the side of the island. I just hope it doesn't like blow the fuse in the island. Oh, we got some beeping going on. Okay, let me, first of all, get the instruction manual. They include an Ultrian cookbook. For first use, remove all packaging materials and stickers or labels, clean the basket and pan with hot water. Okay. This is heavy duty. So, I looked up a recipe on YouTube, of course, because I don't know how to cook. Um, I'm sure I could have just winged it, but I was like, let me do this right. All right, I guess I put this back since I've washed it. Does this take oil? So, these are the wings, pretty dry. You just need lemon pepper, salt, and garlic. Um, lemon pepper, garlic is really good. 
salt. But I'm gonna use seasoned salt instead of regular salt. And this is not even that really spicy, but I'm just gonna put some cayenne pepper on it. If I really wanted to cook, cook, I would use habaneros, but I don't feel like cutting those right now. I'm gonna just place the chicken in here. When we do do a cooking, cooking video for real, I will get the right angles for y'all. Another thing she said was, do presentation side down. So whatever side you want your chicken to end up on, you put that down first. I'm nervous. And she did hers for 400 for 10 minutes on each side. Ooh. While this is going, I hope it's working. But while it's going, we should probably go and do my vanity so we save time. This is gonna be my vanity setup, not my vanity organization. I also did get an extension cord from Home Goods because, as you guys can see, there's not an outlet right here. The outlet is back here, so when I do have to use anything, it's gonna be hard. So what I'm gonna do is plug it behind the shoe rack things, bro. Um, I know I do not have to screw stuff. If Michael is here, he would not help me. It's so shiny. Now I'm on my vlog camera and this actually is kind of like better for lighting. I had to look up a YouTube video. I'm gonna link the YouTube videos that I watched to set up this mirror because my instruction manual, they used to be better. This doesn't tell me like anything on how to do anything. It's literally a page of how to work the mirror, not how to like put it together. Like hidden in the like styrofoam. So this is the baby mirror that can like attach, but this is literally gold. Why wouldn't it be silver? Like. I don't, I don't get it. Like, why is this gold? They give you four baby screws. The rest of the screws in this pack are for if you want to attach it to the wall, which I will not be doing, obviously, because my window's right there. This is the power cord. I feel like an idiot because I was thinking, like, am I going to have to, like, wire it in through the lights? But there's literally a port that I'm going to show you guys that you literally stick the power cord in. And this is also a, uh, a speaker, so we're going to try it out. All four screws are in. Now I'm gonna be taking the power cord and just plugging it in at the side right here. I was literally stressing out for nothing. Oh, it's lighted up already. All right, ready? Okay. Oh my freaking gosh, I look a mess. Okay, I actually look scary, but oh my gosh. And then you could do LED light. So that was like the warm light. And then this is a cool tone light. And then that's off. Okay. I'm probably going to be using this one. Because I like the warmer feel. But it's still LED. And this is Bluetooth. Let's try and set up Bluetooth. Wow. Alright. I'm connected. Bluetooth is off. All right, this is a vibe. This is what my vanity setup is basically gonna look like. That shoe thing's gonna be nicer. You guys saw it in my last vlog, but this is actually really cute. Oh, y'all can see how much of a mess I look, but this is gonna be so bomb for getting ready. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I will link. Um, this down below hopefully the mini tutorial I gave you guys if you buy it like on how to set it up helps but this is a vibe Let O M G Y'all obviously I've never used an air fryer before but I've never had wings look this good Wow, I'm about to get thick. I'm about to if cooking could be this easy. I'm about to get thick guys This literally only took me 20 minutes to make and I didn't even have to watch it All you have to do is season it and go I did 10 minutes on each side just so it would be even I'm not sure if you have to do that. So that was the only time I had to touch it, but y'all air fryer 13 out of 10 recommend 13 out of 10. I recommend it we have a welcome party in my complex that our apartment is throwing mask of course um and they actually asked us whether we wanted wine or beer so i'm thinking like when we're rsvp'ing okay we're gonna show up and each get a glass of wine they literally delivered this to our door i don't know how to use this bro 
Do you screw it or do you? Okay. Like, do you, ow! Okay, I think it's going in. And then Wow. One eternity later. I have a little bit because I haven't eaten all day. I just want to try it. This vlog is over. Hopefully you guys like the pantry organization, me cooking with the air fryer and my vanity setup. This is probably our last at home vlog for the month. No, this definitely is. It is October 23rd, we only have a week left. I have um, two more vlogs coming out, a New York City vlog and this vlog. Thank you so much to glassesusa.com for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you stuck till the end, I love you so much. Comment down below. I don't know if we're gonna hit 200K by this video, probably not, but comment down below gift ideas. I'm gonna do a giveaway, but I don't just want to give away money. So I'm probably gonna like put a bunch of things together for a 200k giveaway. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Cheers and have a good night.